Alright, well done, guys. Okay, this tutorial, I want to teach you people how to design a food flyer for a restaurant or a fast food. Okay, so let's just delve into the tutorial. Alright, the first thing I want to do is to change my background. To change my background, I'll come to this tool here at the bottom. You click it, you see color, you click the color, and I want to choose this yellow background. Okay, this yellow background, click OK. Now, mind you, when you click on the color, if your if yellow is not if the yellow color is not around there, you have to go forward and choose a yellow color and use. Okay, so that's just what I want to into. Now, let's go to the next icon. Now, I want to I want to import my materials that I want to use for the design. So, if you are trying to import materials from your gallery from your photo all you need to do is to use this plus icon at the top here this plus icon click on it then this will appear you click on from gallery so let me scroll down i have something here that i want to use for the design yeah this is it click this all right so i'll just click ok and then it's here increase the size a bit then change the color change the color to white now i want to teach you people how to do with anything icon this is it this is it the tool for editing any icon this is it yeah so when you click on this all these tools will appear for you to edit the icon so i'm going to click on color and change the color to white change the color to white okay so i'll press ok and move it forward a bit now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to look for opacity here is it opacity click on opacity and reduce the opacity to say 55 that's good so click ok then i need to go and import something else go to your plus icon click on it go to from gallery i'm going straight to my photos to go and get something okay so here it is this shops are fried chicken and all that so I'm going to do something here. There's this cycle icon here I'm going to use to do something. Here is it? This cycle icon. So I'm going to click on that cycle icon. When I click on it, now the food area has been highlighted. Go to this top here and drag this thing down. Drag it down so that the, the tray will not show again. Just the food. Okay. Just the top. When you break it down like that, you can click OK on the check mark. So here it is. So I'm going to increase the size, very make it very big, and push it down, push it down like this. And I'm okay, I'm okay with it. So now, click on it, then come and edit it. Now I'm going to, I'm going to click on stroke, enable the stroke, give it a red color stroke, red. Yes, then increase the stroke width to say four. It's fine like this. Okay. All right. So now I have all the elements, all the materials I need for this design now. So there's one thing I want to do now. I want to go to the top of the app. You will see an icon. This icon. Let me show you. This icon. So when you click on that icon, something like this will display. I want to lock the, the materials that I brought in so that you will not you, your hands will not shake them or move them around. I have to press the padlock symbol here to lock them. I've locked the both icon. I'll still, I'm still going to press the icon again for it to disappear. Right, that's gone. Now, you can, you can see now I can move my hand all over my workspace. Move it like this. Because these things, this, these things have been locked. They will not move about. Okay. So now, let me go and bring in the text now. So I'm done with icon for now. Let me go to my text tool. This is my text tool. This A symbol is my text tool. Anything about text. Now, I'm going to click on this text. Then edit. Edit. Okay. So now, the first thing I'm going to do is the name of my fast food or the name of the restaurant. I'm going to use my name. You can use your name. Okay. Collins Delicacies. Capital letters. Yeah, this is it. So now I'm going to move forward to change the fonts. Now um, I want to change the fonts. Oh, let's let's change it to chunk five. I like this font chunk 5 please take notes chunk 5 then press ok so now let me bring it like this 
from here in this case and change and reduce sorry reduce the size now i want to align it to the middle take note of what i'm going to do come to this tool you are aligned click on align click the middle one to align the text to the middle you see i've aligned it to the middle and click ok then you click ok come to relative position click the middle one at the top now the text has been moved to the middle of our workspace press ok now the next thing is to change the color i'm going to change the color to, to red oh that's beautiful okay you can still reduce the size a little if you want see 20 or 21 is okay 21 is okay you can take it click on position to move it upwards a little all right that's fine so now we are done for the name of the now i want to write something else delicious in order to be very fast about it just copy this same text i like it and copy it when you like it and copy it then press edit come and edit it and put write whatever you want to write i want to write delicious delicious and copy it later uh, we increase the size increase it to 65 65 is okay but i'm not going to use the same font please take note don't use more than two fonts for now it is very it will make your design very rough if you use more than two fonts in a simple design like this so i'm going to use this font nevis nevis okay nevis now the next thing i'm going to do is to add stroke to to the text add stroke white stroke and increase the stroke level to 13 13 is okay that's nice okay so that's it for delicious so now i want to get another i want to get another okay. in order to make make the work easier you don't need to start afresh like all over again all you need to do is to go and i like this font copy it then edit it you cannot change it to whatever you want now the next thing i want to type is um, african meal african meals in capital letter then click ok all right you bring it down and increase the font size i'll need a font size of say 65 all right 65 is good for the design all right so okay i want to change the color color of the font to black uh, nice 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 so don't forget to always align your work to the middle all right you can see how nice it is all right one last thing you also do the same thing click and copy then edit next thing we're going to write now is order now order now you can say place your order now I'll just say order now copy to the task then bring it down to this side all right this is nice isn't it order now then we're going to place a phone number under this this text so place any phone number under it so you can also copy this one now and write your phone number i'm using my phone number you can use your own phone number when you're doing your own design so so this is it you reduce the size a little oh, this is this is nice okay all right okay so i have to change the color if i change the color let me change the background i want to give the text a background enable the background then give it a red background then go to the color to change the color to yellow wow this is so nice now there's one last thing we need to do before we save our work just go to the text background make sure the the phone number is highlighted go to back, background then scroll down to radius i want to give it five radius this is to reduce the sharpness of the background okay you can see how nice it is now okay now we're done with our design this is so so beautiful everything is in order all right we're good to go let's go and save our work 
pessoal. Galera, sim. Alright, thank you for watching.